Hello, this is Tony Heller from RealClimateScience.com, reporting on the latest new concepts from the Ministry of Truth. In George Orwell's novel 1984, the job of the Ministry of Truth was to rewrite the history of the past. The press corps has been doing that for decades, but now they've taken on a new role. They pre-write the future. NBC Politics Fact Check No evidence exists to support the claim that the stock market will crash if Joe Biden wins. It should be obvious to anyone with an IQ higher than a turnip that no evidence yet exists of anything in the future. People make predictions about the future based on their opinions and understanding of the world. Propagandists like NBC News understand that if Donald Trump wins, they're going to look really, really bad and their credibility will sink even lower. So they're willing to tell whatever lies they have to tell to help Joe Biden get elected, regardless of the future consequences. Let's look now at some incredible economic predictions which were made during 2016 and early 2017. Donald Trump's first gift to the world will be another financial crisis. Headline in the UK Independent. I have no stocks. I advise people not to invest in the stock market. Not now. Way too dangerous. Michael Moore. It really does now look like President Donald J. Trump and markets are plunging. When might we expect them to recover? A first pass answer is never. So we are very probably looking at a global recession with no end in sight. Paul Krugman, Nobel Prize winner of the New York Times. Trump's domestic policies would lead to recession. Former GOP presidential candidate Mitt Romney, March 2016. If Trump wins, we should expect a big markdown in expected future earnings for a wide range of stocks and a likely crash in the broader market if Trump becomes president. Eric Zeitzewitz, former chief economist at the International Monetary Fund, November 2016. Under Trump, I would expect a protracted recession to begin within 18 months. The damage would be felt far beyond the United States. Former Clinton and Obama chief economist Larry Summers, June 2016. Trump would likely cause the stock market to crash and plunge the world into recession. Simon Johnson, MIT economics professor in the New York Times, November 2016. Citigroup, a Trump victory in November could cause a global recession. Bloomberg Financial News headline, August 2016. Let's look now at how these experts did. This is the Dow Jones Industrial Average since Romney made his forecast of recession in March 2016. The stock market has skyrocketed since President Trump was elected right here. Globalists couldn't even keep the stock market down for very long with their fear-mongering and their lockdowns. The great American physicist Dr. Richard Feynman said science is the belief in the ignorance of the experts. And few are more ignorant than Bill Gates. He said in 1994 at a trade conference, I see little commercial potential for the internet for the next 10 years. Bill Gates is quite a guy. He's not only going to save us from viruses, but he's also going to save us from a climate disaster. According to people on the political left, this is a Native American. This is an African American. This person is oppressed. This person is competent. This person is a hero. This person is a scientist. This person is an expert. This person is mostly peaceful. And this person is female. Toto thinks that there's no evidence that the mainstream media will tell the truth about anything between now and the election, or after the election either. After all, why should their discussion of the future be any less dishonest than their portrayal of the past? Toto is pretty good at sniffing out these crooks. You can find him in Kyrie on the web at realclimatescience.com.